Previously on Danganronpa V3. Oh, the virtual world. We should go there again. Huh? Go back into the Matrix. Huh? Uh, except this time we're going to put on dark coats and sunglasses and we're going to shoot bullets in slow motion. It's going to be so awesome. Are you ready, Shuichi? We're going to reenact the Matrix. I'm so excited. You'll be Neo and I'll be your Trinity. How about that? Yeah. No, I don't even see those movies. Ah, oh, you don't get the references then. It's okay. I'll show you. Now back to a new killing game. Hey! Sneaker B, back with some more Danganronpa V3. We last left off, we investigated Miyu's murder, and uh, it's left me asking quite a few questions. But after I've been, uh, I've sort of sat down and I thought about it, I have come up with a few things that I think might be at least on the right track. First off, I, I, I think I figured out what the lattice is for. I believe what ended up happening, I think Miyu was either killed on the roof of the mansion, or killed uh, when she collided with the chapel. And I, I believe what happened there, though, was that she was on the lattice and she rode down the side of the roof and crashed into the wall of the of the chapel. Because, like I said, I believe the two worlds loop. And, and when I actually, t like, photoshopped the two sides and, like, switched them around, and, yeah, they, they line up there, too. So I think it's pretty clear that the worlds loop. And because she gave herself that... Uh, non-human uh, identification it allowed her to pass through it unlike everybody else but I believe us the lattice was used like a sled and it went down the side of the roof of the of the place my question is was she dead while she was on there so she was essentially being transported to the other side kind of like what happened with Ryoma in order to confuse us or did somebody knock her out and tired to that and she was killed when she ran like slid down the roof and then crashed into it i i have a feeling she was probably already dead by that point but um and she was just being transported i and so she was she was going up there to meet with kokichi so it definitely does seem like a strong uh possibility that he'd be the killer but he did say that he couldn't go up there because the the room was locked right that sort of makes you wonder then there was that toilet paper roll that was outside the building uh, I think that was what was going to be used by Miyu to climb to the roof to avoid being seen by everyone, right? At least, I assume. Um, so who put the roll there? Did she take it with her and then try to throw it to get up there? Or, or what, exactly? But I, I honestly, I don't believe Kokichi's the killer here, and I actually don't think Kaido is either. I think it is actually going to end up being Gonta. Um, I don't have a lot of strong evidence for it, aside from... Uh, the fact that in every other fourth case of the previous game, the big muscly person has always died in this case. It's always been the fourth case that they get killed. Sakura, she was she killed herself in Dongrupa 1, Dongrupa 2. Gundam killed uh, Mecha Maro. And uh, I'm thinking possibly for this, uh, Gonta killed Miyu. Uh, thing is, though, I, I don't believe that he did it uh, knowingly. I, I feel like... Maybe there's a possibility that Kokichi somehow tricked Gonta into doing it, or or something like he set up some contraption to, and then like convince Gonta to to do something, or Gonta saw it and, you know, I, I don't know. I, I I don't understand what the circumstances are. I, I I think it seems clear that he wouldn't be aware of it though. I, I just I couldn't imagine Gonta ever really doing that. And I, I mean I just I can't see it being anyone else though. Like I feel like it's got to be someone on our side, right? Where we were investigating, the only people there were. Uh, myself, Sumugi, Gonta, and Kokichi, right? And there was also Kaito, but he he had logged out by that point. So I I think it is going to end up being Gonta. I just, I don't quite know how. And it, <laughs> I, I honestly would love to be wrong, because I love Gonta. I really want, I, I want for once, one of the big muscly dudes to fucking live through this, you know? And Gonta, I feel like, is probably one of the best big muscly dudes of any of the games. And I sincerely don't believe he intended to kill anyone or try to hide the evidence. I, I just ca I can't see him doing that. <laughs> At least I hope not. I, I, I'm, I generally hope not. But yes, I, I believe that Mi wasn't poisoned. I do believe she was killed in the game because her eyes aren't bloodshot, so she wasn't. She, uh, she doesn't ha fit the uh, what the poison uh, side effects are. Yeah. Hemorrhaging, making his victim's eyes completely bloodshot. I don't know what the poison bottle's doing there. Maybe Kokichi was planning to do something. I also do think that Miyu was planning to kill Kokichi. That's why she added that code to when she touched him, uh, caused him to freeze, and then she killed him that way. Uh, I do I do wonder, though, what is this, this... This seems incredibly significant, the avatar error. When everyone logged in for the first time, an avatar user error occurred. And I'm wondering, what is that? I'm imagining it's gonna have something to do with maybe the um, 
the device instructions involving the red cord with consciousness and the blue cord memory. Did somebody like switch bodies? They were pretending to be somebody else, but we would they would have noticed that, right? I mean, I think we would have noticed as well. Everyone seemed pretty normal. Let's see. Uh, Kokichi, then Gonta logged in, then me logged in last. Maybe she did something when everybody was gone. I. I, like she switched somebody else's cables or, or something something in preparation I I don't know that I'm, I'm not quite sure about but I do believe that Miu used the lattice to, to slide down the side of the roof or the killer used that to move her body to try to transport someplace else so and that the world is looped I think it, so I got I think a little bit of this sort of figured out but and I do think it might end up being gone to but that's about all I've got right now oh man uh god dang it I really don't want it to be gone to though. He's such a sweet little cinnamon bun. But anyway, I've got uh, I got the uh, envious influence, which I got from the casino. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch that. Look out! Damn, it gives me so much more. So I, I got, this one gives me plus two. This gives me plus five. Fuck yeah! And also got the menacing focus, which I will take as well. Oh yeah, there's that abracadabra. I'm not I'm not using that. Holy shit! No, it does cost a twenty four. Although, it's still, weirdly enough, less than the financing one, which just gives you more mana coins. I find that a little weird. I mean, this one literally breaks the game. I imagine it would use, like, like 100 slots or something, you know? Like, make it super hard to use. Alright, I think I'm ready. Ugh, man, I, I feel like this is gonna be a fucked up one. No matter, no matter who it ends up being, it's, it's gonna be a messed up one. God, I, I, I really hope it wasn't something like Kokichi tricked Gonta into to killing me somehow. Because that really... I would really like maybe go. Oh fuck, Kokichi! Now <laughs> I will start to hate his ass. It's partially actually why though I don't, I'm not really totally satisfied with my uh, my conclusion here because I I generally don't think Kokichi would actually do that. You know, like he'll he'll do some fucked up things, but I'm not sure he would actually do something that would l literally get one of one of our classmates killed. You know. But anyway, let's get started. Class trial in session. Now then, let's begin with a basic explanation. Oh, I'm so bored! Oh. Ah, screw it. This is tiresome. <laughs> yes! Oh, thank you. Oh, about fucking time! You guys don't- You idiots haven't figured it out by all the- Fuck you! Go play the first chapter again! You need more motivation! I do. I really, really do. Now then, let's start this class trial. Before we start, I just want to ask something since there's not a lot of us left. How's it going, guys? How you guys feeling? Yeah, we're like halfway dead there. <laughs> what happens if the votes result in two first places? Huh? You mean like a tie? It means they're both the blackened, as long as one of them is correct. It's fine. Oh. Daddy, are you sure you should make a decision like that so casually? I just, I, I just, I don't give a shit anymore, Monopoly, all right? I just don't fucking give a shit. This is the, the fourth case of the third game. Not counting the spinoffs and the fucking anime. I'm just so tired. I'm just so fucking tired. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Thanks. Since that's answered, I can start enjoying this life or death game now. Kala, Candy. What game? How long are you gonna keep saying that? Sucks. I fucking feel like it, Kaido. Just ignore Kokichi. The rest of us need to work together to find the truth. I don't know. I think you should listen to me, Miko. What I tend to say ends up being r the right thing to do. Got it. We can't die here. Not today, motherfuckers! Oh my. Himiko has become so determined. It's true. People really do change. Yeah. But now she's lost what made her so unique. <laughs> now her character's too perfect. Ah, her character flaw is gone. Fuck this game. Now <laughs> all my beautiful, unique, broken characters are all just normal people now. Nothing interesting about that. We should focus on the class trial. First, we need to clarify... How she fucking died! Kaito's the culprit! 
<laughs> it kinda did it! Kinda did it! Ah, I'm voting right now! Boop. No, you idiot! I didn't get to do my voting! Ah, fuck! Well, you know, whatever! Sure, whatever! Kaido did it! Let's just say he did it! Fuck it, dead Kaido! Boom! Did! He pulls out a shotgun, shoots Kaido. What the fuck? Ah! Ah! That's just how little I give a shit about the series anymore! It's fuck! Fuck! What? Say that to my face! Say it to my face! While we were all still logged in, Kaito logged out alone, right? You were able to move freely. Doesn't that mean you could have committed the murder? Maybe Kokichi brought that poison in there himself to set up Kaido, maybe? Like, to get rid of him? But, but that, that would make sense, though, because if that were true, he would get killed, too! If we'd pick Kaido, we'd all fucking die! Don't screw around! There's no way I'm the culprit! Kaito right! Kaito couldn't have killed Mew! How long are you gonna keep saying that? Trusted people can still kill, you know. We already saw that a bunch of times. So many times. Since Kaede. But that Kaede's lie. Oh, you just had to go there, motherfucker. The fact that Kaido was the only one locked out is suspicious. But he's not the culprit. He can't be! Let's spin in circles, guys! Oh, right, starting right off the bat with the lie, baby! Alright, I'm guessing the cell phone is... Oh, is it? Kaito logged out first by himself. Mew's corpse. Uh... Oh, no, there's a cell phone. Mew is still logged in, though. That's when we poisoned her, right, Kaito? Kaito culprit? Impossible! Impossible! Of course it's impossible, because I didn't do it! I mean, we found that bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat, didn't we? The culprit was trying to pin the blame on me. That diversion was part of your plan, right, Kaito? Well, Kaito, any last words? <laughs> what do you mean, last words? <laughs> what? We're not like two minutes into this, we're already fucking decided? Oh, look at Muse. She's got she's got triple X's on her. Oh yeah, baby. That is so appropriate. Okay. I don't see a cell phone, so I thought I figured that's what the right answer would be. Okay, so what is what is this? Killing game simulator? What is that? Living game? Hope restoration simulator? Muse corpse. Uh Mew alive. Yeah guys, Mew's still alive. The culprit was trying to pin the blame on me. Small bottle of poison. Version was part of your plan, right, Kaito? Small antidote bottle. Well, okay, maybe he was still logged in. That's okay. Poison? Okay, what if it was what if I say this? Bottle of antidote! No, dead! He sexually But that Kaito's lie, isn't it? Oh shit, I mean damn it actually actually hit it. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I was just trying to see what the lie was. Oh, uh, okay. So the, the the right, I see. What the right one is Miu's corpse. We're gonna point out that her eyes aren't bloodshot. There's a lie in here. I gotta find that. What about the hammer? Squeaky hammer. Yeah, that's that's the answer. On Akuma file is that just Monica's file? Yeah. That's when he poisoned her. But I'm gonna say the bottle just had the antidote in it, right? Yeah, that's it. I'll reveal the truth. Eat lies, baby. Was well, some poison in there? Just in it out, baby. Mew couldn't have been killed with poison, and it's much too early to decide that Kaito is the culprit. But why? I think it's already too late. Come on, Shuichi! Don't be such a buzzkill. You guys are taking so long to realize that people can kill others in a snap. It's really easy. I, I know I've done it. I mean, what? I know that Kikichi hasn't forgotten about that. He's just pretending. All right, Kokichi, I'll play your game. If you're gonna lie, I will too. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, Shuichi putting his big balls on today. Have you forgotten? The bottle we found at the scene was an antidote, not a poison. It's not like Mew could have been killed by an antidote. What? Are you serious here? Come on, Shuichi. That bottle definitely had poison in it. Didn't we check the label? I know that expression. Kukichi's toying with me. Well, I could do that too. <laughs> yeah, then I put my finger up for that. No, what are you talking about, Shuichi? I'm sure it's full of poison. No, no, Shuichi. No, you stop that. That's my thing. You stop that. Save the foreplay for the bedroom. He knows the flaw in his argument. He's just pretending not to. 
Is this fun for you? Messing with a trial? Hmm? Well, I mean, <coughs> this is where it gets fun for both me and the culprit. So, what's this talk about an antidote? We'll just say you misunderstood the whole thing, Shuichi. We all know you wouldn't lie. What are you talking about? I've lied in every one of these trials. Uh, of course. I'm sorry. I was just misremembering. I can't let Kikichi continue this line of questioning. It will implicate Kaido. Why is Kikichi doing this? I have no choice. I have to call him on it. But Kokichi, you're misremembering as well. You were the one who told us about the warnings on the label. If you remember what was on that label, you'll see that your argument is flawed. What warnings? Was there something like that on the label? I don't remember that happening at all. You're just making that up. Still pretending not to know that motherfucker! Um, so what does that mean? It means that Mew couldn't have been killed with poison. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, uh, what if you're mistaken about the antidote, Shuichi? Uh, right. Well, for now, forget the antidote. <laughs> forget that, all right? That was just for fluff text. Let's focus on exactly what was written on that warning label. Drinking the poison would result in subconjunctival <laughs> hemorrhaging. See, so I feel like that was another instance where I felt like it just made me look like a dumbass. I, I didn't. I was hoping I would show up Kokichi in some way and see, get like frazzle him a bit, and he'd be like, "What? What are you talking about, Shuichi? No, no!" <laughs> but no, at the end, it still just made make me look like a like a dummy. I feel like. What are you talking about? What antidote? No, just let it go, Samugi. Fuck. In other words, your eyes would be bloodshot. Oh, but Mew's body. I mean, her eyes were pretty bugged out, but they weren't bloodshot. That's right. Her eyes weren't bloodshot. She wasn't killed by that poison. Uh, harder. Come on. So you got your fucking pussy. Then what was that poison for? Probably a diversion. The culprit wanted us to think Mew died by poison. Then, what was her real cause of death? Mew's real cause of death. The only one I could think of. The loud noise? Nah. Hey, that's from the virtual world. Hey, you probably need a lot of time to explain that to Kaido, because of his thick ass skull. Uh. What? Uh, okay, so we're saying she was killed from outside. Is that what we're saying? Oh, we're, we're going to mean the, uh, this, the killing game simulator. This yeah. is it. There we go. A little less specific. Death was the killing game simulator itself. In the virtual world, if your avatar takes fatal damage, your real body dies of shock. That was made clear in the program's text file. Miyu received fatal damage in the virtual world and died from that shock. In that case, it's fair to say that the cause of death was actually the simulator. Um, Gonta has question. Where is this virtual world place? What floor is it on? God has no idea what's going on. If you don't understand, then don't say anything. If Mew was killed in the virtual world, then the next thing we need to figure out is what caused her to incur fatal damage within the virtual world. Bob Slit! So her cause of death in the virtual world is the one that matters. So I was trying to say earlier. <laughs> oh, it seems like Gonte is confused. So why don't we review things a bit? Ah, uh, Smokey seems extra nice to Gonta. I like that. Um, so we split into two groups to find the secret of the outside world. The ones who searched the mansion were me, Shuichi, Smoogie, Gonta, and me. NPC Kaito. Hey, who you call an NPC? You ass. <laughs> And the Good others one. who searched the chapel were Keyboy, Maki, Himiko, and the late Mew. <laughs> How could someone have given her fatal damage in that situation? That's what we gotta think about. <laughs> now, let's all work together. Yay! Aww, little <laughs> Himiko is all grown up. Too bad your chest hasn't grown up, though. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, what a zinger that was. 
Someday, my chest will grow like crazy! <laughs> and with the, with the power of my magic, I'm gonna give myself a boob job! Let's begin then. <laughs> the fatal damage that me received in the virtual world. Let's pin that down! Ah! Alright, no line this time. Mod Koopa Final 4, Small Bob Poison, Muse Corpse, Hammer! Signboard. Miu was fatally injured. It's gonna be the Let's hammer. Focus our efforts on that first. More than likely. Whatever did that to Miu was dropped right next to her avatar. It has to be the hammer! Yeah! We're going to beat her with his bare hands. Bare hands. I'm certain that blunt force was involved. I think strangulation is more likely. It's possible she was pushed from a great height. You know, we didn't see her grabbing at her neck, but, but that's from shock, right? I would, I would have thought. But what would be what would strangulation be? I kind of would have thought the hammer too, but now I'm starting to think maybe it is strangulation. She, look, she, she's grabbing at her neck, but what strangled her? The toilet paper? There's nothing in here that. Drowned? During the specific cause of death. About the conditions of Mew's body. In the virtual really world. Oh on yeah, on that first. it's this. It is. It's, it's gonna be strangulation. I don't know. Did she, or did she drown? Man, it's probably strangulation. But. Yeah. I agree. I agree, Maki. Maki. <laughs> okay. What does he get strangled with? Mew's body showed severe trauma and signs of a struggle. Eh. <laughs> she looked like she suffered. Very hard to look at. Right. Oh. And the virtual world is connected to our five senses. Maybe that's what the toilet paper is used for instead of using it to for someone to climb up to the roof. Or maybe it was used for both. It was used to climb to the roof and then someone tied around her neck and like strangled her with it. If her body experienced pain, she must have been in pain in the virtual world as well. Knowing that, I believe Maki is correct. Mew was strangled to death. Yeah, definitely. I know that look. <laughs> I've seen it many Strangling times. and poison are the only methods that can make her look like she suffocated. But we already removed the possibility of poison, so it can only be strangulation. Also, when a victim is poisoned, they commonly grab their chest or mouth. Mm. But Mew was holding her throat. It's obvious she was trying to protect her windpipe. Yep, just like Joffrey, that fuck. Dead. Oh, the assassin master gets really chatty when it comes to corpses. <laughs> in that case, her exact Make you a cause of death is being strangled in the virtual world. But is strangulation even possible in the virtual world? If the avatars were equally strong, it would be difficult to strangle a resisting victim. Yeah, if she mm. was just as strong as them, no way they could have strangled her. Yeah, I'm thinking they must have, she must have been dangled off the roof. Maybe like, <laughs> like a gallows, essentially. Put a noose around her neck. And the culprit would need a tool. There are tons of cases where a weaker person would strangle a stronger person with a rope. Wow, you know a lot about killing. Nerd. <laughs> Bitch, I seriously, can, can I just kill this fuck? Does anyone give a shit anymore? But was there even a rope in that world? I don't remember seeing one. <laughs> Death by toilet paper, that's a fucking way to go. It's gotta be the toilet paper. And they must have used something else as a rope. This a rope, huh? An idea what it might be. Found it during the investigation. Yeah, here we go. Fucking TP, baby! This is it! This is it! During the investigation, we found toilet paper outside the mansion. Is this toilet paper? What toilet paper are we doing here? I'm guessing that the toilet paper was used to strangle her. Gonta, no can ignore that! Oh! 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 Gonta can strike back! Gonta, what are you doing? What do you mean, Shuichi? Toilet paper, super soft. What you talking about? Have you ever wiped your ass with Charmin, Shuichi? That's the softest thing on the planet. Huh? What's wrong? 
What wrong? Shuichi goofing off. Not gentlemanly at all. <laughs> oh, fine. You want to battle me, Gota? I'll show you the power of my Hoge. I like to imagine my. I'm, I'm using my Hoge to slice through his words. Okay, Lab Moys, Killing Game Simulator. No time for nonsense. Uh, I think this is the Killing Game Simulator. Objects can't break. Yeah. No can use toilet paper. No. In place of rope. Would tear too easy. There we are. <laughs> Cut through your words. <laughs> that was easy. No, wrong, Gonta. The toilet paper wouldn't tear. Because in a virtual world, objects are unbreakable. Breakable? <laughs> You're so dumb, Gonta. You didn't even know that? If objects can't break in that world, then toilet paper shouldn't be able to tear. And since it couldn't tear, it could be used as a rope. Gonta not really understand, but... Sorry, Shuichi. Gonta was wrong. It's okay, Gonta. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what if... What if... Me was just in the middle of doing some kiki shit, just like... like Alright, while I'm up here waiting for Kikichi's slow ass, I'm just gonna go ahead and asphyxiate myself as part of my weird kiki tradition! Uh, 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 yeah! Oh, that's good shit right there! But, mm, yeah. Oh shit! Oh shit! It's getting a little too tired! <laughs> oh god! It ends up being just me just killed herself. <laughs> Accidentally. And then just rolled off the <laughs> rolled off the roof of the building and flew butt next to the church. She's like, wait! <laughs> <laughs> just some ridiculous shit. There was no big payoff to this case. Mew, just stupid. Killed by toilet paper. <laughs> it was a fitting end for her. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That might be Himiko's best line in the whole game. <laughs> Killed by toilet paper. It was a fitting death for that dirty cum toilet. A fitting end? I do not fully understand that logic. Don't try to bring out the diagram about cum dumpster again, Kiba. No, please, but God! If you was killed near the chapel, why was the murder weapon by the mansion? Maybe the culprit tried to get rid of it to destroy the evidence. The culprit meant to get rid of the evidence. They did a poor job of it. There's a much better place where they could have destroyed it. If toilet paper was the murder weapon, then what's the deal with the hammer next to her? Perhaps the culprit prepared a backup weapon, just in case. No, the culprit didn't bring the hammer. No? But who else but the culprit would bring a hammer? MC Hammer! Wait, we already know who brought, brought that hammer. The person who brought it was fucking me! That's it! Mew was the one who brought the hammer. Huh? Mew bring hammer? Remember what she told us? Have we built the program to lead off dangerous objects that be used for weapons? Baka! Yeah, she did say she deleted any dangerous objects. If that were true, she wouldn't have missed something like a hammer. Meaning that Mew must have left it on purpose. On purpose? But... Why she do that? To fuck us! Mew brought the hammer for sure. What does she need it for? We need to make that clear. Time to spin! Whoa! All right. No lies here. Killing game simulator. Map of the mansion. Map of the world. Toilet paper. Let's assume that Mew brought the hammer. The Kikichi meeting. What was she planning to wall. do? Maybe use it to break down a wall. Mm. Uses for a hammer. No. Go to no. Mew gonna build stuff with hammer. Yeah. She probably just brought it for self-defense. Or she secretly met up with someone. Ah, oh, there it is. I to kill them with it. I agree. I agree. I missed the V point though. Yeah. I like how I brought Mew that up. Gonna meet up. Like I didn't even know about it. World. Mm hmm. With me. I was supposed to meet up with Mew on the roof of the mansion. What? Is that true? I overheard them talking about it at the chapel. 
By the way, Mew asked to meet up with me before we went into the virtual world. I totally forgot where we were supposed to meet, so good thing Keyboy spied on us. Wait, so Mew called Kokichi out? If Mew brought the hammer, I wonder what she was planning to do with it. You think she was trying to smoke my ass? <laughs> I bet she was, dirty slut. Kichi's already figured it out. She was planning to. Kill Kichi. Make Kichi kill someone. Plan a murder with Kokichi. Confess her love. <laughs> I almost want to say that, but I'm already low, so, you know. That's it. She was trying to kill Kokichi. She was what? Yep. She plotted to meet up with me and then kill me with the hammer. If you want to prove this, you'll need to figure out Mew's plan, okay? Mew's plan, huh? I'm sure if I analyze the clues we found, I can figure something out. All right, let's do this. Oh, God, what are we doing? Psyche Taxi. All right, here we go. <laughs> ah, time to drive in my brain. Eat your heart out, Hajime. Yeah, two at once. That's how it's done. I'm gonna drive right in the middle of the fucking road. Don't give a shit. Two lanes. Oh, look, you see me. You can see me on the, the billboards to the right. And that weird alternate art style, which you guys actually pointed out. It, it was from a, it's from a manga called uh, Sl Slam Dunk, I think that's what it was called. It actually showed the reference picture of it. It was like some guy like begging to be on the basketball team. That is an obscure reference. Who tried to kill Kokichi? Seriously, why, why is it even asking me this? <laughs> so I think they try to come up with, they're like, okay, how are we going to stretch this into three questions? Kokichi! Kaito Ki- It was clearly Kibo. Uh, yeah. Here it comes. Where was Mew trying to kill Kokichi? On the roof! Roof is on fire! Alright, what we got? The afterlife, yes. The real world. The virtual world. Boom! <laughs> so I say, next question! Uh, wait, no, what the? Why am I remembering me, Samugi's tits? Uh, her shirt was semi transparent. Uh, <laughs> seriously, Toichi? How, how's it going there? Uh, Smoogie boobs. Uh, <laughs> uh, what? Sorry, excuse Shut up, guys. I'm focusing, okay? God damn it. Gotta get a better glimpse of it. All right, here we go. You guys ready? Here we go. Ah, uh, slow motion. Yeah, that's the stuff. Oh, uh, get a face full. And like some pound cake, baby. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Well, why was a bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat? To fuck with us. Uh. Oh, we're trying to suggest that Kokichi killed himself. To divert attention, hidden evidence. That's it? Oh, so she. Sh oh, did she place that there? Uh, after. She was the last person to go in, right? Got it! Gotcha! She wanted it to appear as if Kokichi was killed in the real world. She placed the poison on my seat to make us think the murder happened in the real world. See, Kokichi is already like, he's already figured this shit out. He's just like letting me do half of it. The kind of makes me wonder though, what, what does he even need me for? Like. It seems clear that Kokichi's smart enough to figure all this shit out on his own. To make it more entertaining, I guess. He did that too? What? Mew was the one who put that poison bottle there? No, that ain't right. Something's definitely weird about that. Bottle of poison, killing game some of your log in and out. Mew, Mew Kichis. When could Mew have put the poison there? Log out record, it's gonna be bad. If she did place the poison without us noticing, then she must have logged out at some point. No. And then what? Log back in? Kokichi, weren't you in the salon around that time? Did you see her log in or log out at all? Nope, I didn't see that at all. 
If she hadn't logged in or out, then you couldn't have placed the poison. Wrong. Boom! That's wrong! Wrong, Kaido! Yeah, she was the last one. Last one to it was come Mew in with who us. planted the poison on Kokichi's chair. She had plenty of time to do it. Here, take a look at this. Is this a record of who went in and out of the virtual world? That's right. It says that Mew was the last of us to log in. It does seem odd that she was the last one to come in, you know? Seeing as she was the one who's so gung-ho about it. Yeah, what about it? If she logged in last, she would have had time to move around in the real world after the previous person logged in. That right! She could have placed Poison Bottle on Kokichi's seat! This was all part of Mew's plan. She tried to kill me in the virtual world, make us think it happened in the real world, then pin the crime on Kaito. Well, that's not my fault! Which is why she manually logged you out, just for that purpose. Oh. 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 Yeah, I, I don't. Why, why would I think suicide? Yeah, of course, of course. She wants to win the killing game. She didn't give a fuck about us. <laughs> Seriously, he was like, I'm just, I don't give a shit. Yeah, fuck it all die. So she did that to me. Yes, I'm positive of that. I'd actually really kind of thought that he just she locked Kaido out just to get him off the roof so they could meet on the roof, but it, I didn't also think, oh right. Also, to set him up for this. That makes you sense. used a method only she could use to log Kaito out manually. There we go. How did me log Kaito out? With the cell phone. This is it. It was the cell phone found by Mew's avatar. That cell phone worked the same way as the phone in the salon. It logs users in and out. I verified this myself when I spoke Kaito's name into it. Kaido Momoda. He logged out, just as I thought, but without the animation this time. Because it's a fucking flashback, fuck See, you! With that cell phone, she could force anyone to log out at any time. I am a god of this world! But Mew never mentioned a cell phone, right? That's what Shuichi referred to when he mentioned a method only she could use. She kept the cell phone a secret on purpose. So she could use it for the murder. Actually, it's me. Why don't you see what Kyo's uh, ex looks like? So, she really was planning a murder. Yeah, she did say she wanted to get out of here. Really badly. And she tried to set me up. Fucking bitch. Well, I knew that from the start. Then why did you say I was the culprit? Because <laughs> I like fucking with you, Kaido. Because I wanted to get it through your thick skull. People you trust and defend will ultimately betray you. This is a game of suspicion. Well, I think your ideals should stay the same. Because phonies like you are what make the game more interesting. I don't see it. Must be on the other side. Don't you agree, Monokuma? Ah, whatever. Hmm? Do I? I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm so bummed right now. I don't know why. Huh? Wait. What were we talking about? I wonder when Daddy's gonna get his motivation back. Yeah! If Father keeps slacking off, all the work is gonna get forced onto Mommy. Your Mommy's dead, don't you realize, Monotaro? Huh? Mommy? <laughs> My head! I feel like I'm about to remember something, but I can't. Remember, Monotaro used to be our friend for like, you know, 30 minutes. What's wrong, Monotaro? Pull yourself together! Anywho, it's a blessing in disguise that Mew died and not me. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank God! Because Lord knows we need more of me in the world. What you mean? What you mean? Oh, right there. Because she wouldn't have said anything about what really happened in the virtual world. You guys would have had a way harder time finding the culprit, you know. 
She would have been able to lie about the virtual world settings as much as she wanted. <laughs> Thank God, me, it's just fuck up. <laughs> Actually, I think the same could be same could be said for all the killers in this game. These killers really need to learn to to, to stop while they're ahead. <laughs> Seriously, Karumi, if she just left Ryoma in that bathroom, we never would have figured it out. If Keo didn't have to do his dumb seesaw shit and settle with just Angie, never would have figured it out. If Kane just went in and bashed Rentaro off the head with their giant titties instead of a big bowling ball down a flight of books, never would have happened, baby! We all would overlook that shit because it would have been too hilarious! And you'd never know that the murder actually took place in the virtual world. So that's why she decided to attempt a murder. Because she had total control. Then the reason Mew was so insistent we go into the virtual world was... Oh. Uh, what the fuck is that supposed to be? I look like Satan or something. What in the... Is that fire flowing around me or... <laughs> Seriously, what is that? This is like... I didn't give a shit for Kia. I was like, this guy's such a weirdo. <laughs> That's your ex. Guys only bitching because he have not been to the virtual world yet. But once you go, he'll understand. Seriously, so fucking awesome, and you guys will love it. And then, you're gonna fall in love with me for showing it to you guys, and totally not regret this decision. So let's just dive in right in, okay? We'll do it together. I will say, I do feel like the, the whole reason we even went in there was a little flimsy, honestly. Like, we're already down to half of our group here, and the fact that we just sort of jumped in there without, like, a second thought... Or much of a second thought. I mean, I guess we questioned it for like a second, and then we're like, like, nah, you know what? Let's do it. I mean, I know Mon Monokuma came out with sort of half assed saying, yeah, there's totally something there that you'll give you a clue about the outside world. And I don't know. Just like, <laughs> there's just moments of sheer unbridled stupidity in this game. I mean, most of it's great. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, it's just like moments of just like, what the f <laughs> What are they even thinking? She was insistent we go there so she could kill us. What a shady person. She sucks. I was sad that she was gone, but now I don't know what to think. <laughs> nice! Backstabbed by a trusted friend. I don't know about trusted friend there. <laughs> See? That's an ideal fun situation. Now we can start a real class trial. Hey, Kokichi sort of sound like Monokuma. Uh. Hmm? Really? I don't sound anything like him. No. You're just like Monokuma. No! My voice is not anything. I, I don't sound like a Mickey Mouse wannabe. Hey, fuck you! Both of you are cowards. You never speak the truth or show your true face. Wait, coward? You say some interesting things sometimes, Kaito. Smiling, putting on a mask, never saying what you really think. That kind of cowardice is just like Monokuma. Ooh, damn. Daddy, they're calling you a coward. Aren't you gonna do something? Yeah, yeah, I just gotta do my signature laugh, right? Hop, hop, hop. Hoo, 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 hoo. There, I did it. He's completely lost his drive. Like a one-head wonder who clings to their former fame. <laughs> Head. I've been riding this gravy train for a long time, guys. Listen up, Kokichi. To hell with this game of suspicion crap. I will never be okay with it. I'm just gonna believe in everyone. Instead of suspecting my friends, I'm gonna find the truth by believing in them. Well, if you think you can win this game like that, then sure, be my guest. Of course I can. I don't need your permission. How long are you guys going to argue? Let's hurry this up and continue. If we don't find the culprit, then we'll all die, you know that? Do you want to die? Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. If we are going to begin searching for the culprit, let's start with Kokichi's story. Huh? My story? You were meeting with Mio, but she ended up as the victim. So it's only natural for us to think you're the killer, right? Here's my answer. I never met up with Mew. Mm -hmm. You didn't? I tried to go to the roof to meet up with her, but the door was locked. But isn't lock picking your specialty? 
You should have been able to open it easy. You know, essentially, I don't know why we're not immediately asking, what were you even meeting her for? I couldn't pick locks with my avatar body. I didn't have the tools for it either. I mean, I know why she wanted to meet with you, but what did you want to meet with her for? Also, I never went to the roof. Not even for the meeting. I remember you and Gonta went off together when we first started looking. But was the door to the roof actually locked? When I was on the roof before logging out, the door wasn't locked. Huh? How should I know? Then who locks the door to the roof? I already told you. How should I know? When I went to the roof, it wasn't locked. So you gotta be lying. All right. What good would it be if I lied? I don't want to die either, you know. Lying would do you a lot of good if you're the culprit. Yeah! Oh, mm-hmm, I see. I didn't realize that. What kind of response is that? That's suspicious as hell! Wait, there's no point in arguing about that now. The truth will come out eventually. Before we get to that, we need to discover the truth behind Mew's death. Truth? There were mysterious circumstances surrounding her death. We need to make sense of those first. Wow, Shuichi, you know your way around this game. Yes, keep up the hard work. The fate of our lives rests in your hands. So, what is this strange circumstance? Kokichi claims it was Mew who chose the meeting place. But I'm wondering how she got from the chapel to the mansion's roof. I think it was the toilet paper, right? I see. Mew sent the bridge connecting the mansion and chapel into the river herself. Whoops, my hand slipped! If that's the case, then Mew might not have even gone to the roof. Huh? So she stood me up? It's very rude to break a promise. <laughs> Unlike me. It's true. First we need to determine if Mew was actually there or not. Did she go? Or she never on the roof at all? No, she was, because that's where the lattice was. Alright. Telling the truth here. Doot, doot, doot. Tsumi's account, loud noise, Mew's cell phone, Kyokichi in the salon sitting on the thing. Mew was waiting for me thing. to arrive. I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. No. Mew should have been at the chapel. If you look at where her avatar fell, it's right next to the chapel. How would she have gotten to the mansion? There was no bridge over the river. A bridge would be the only way to get across. So, her meeting with Kokichi... She stood me up! <laughs> oh wait, Samugi's account. Oh right, she, that's right, she saw her. Uh, bah, there we go! That's wrong! <laughs> wrong! Himiko! You must have gone to the mansion. We have a witness. Yeah, when I was searching the dining room, I saw Mew pass by the window. Samugi, why didn't you point it out? Why do I have to point it out for everyone? Why do I have to point it out for everybody here? Jesus. When you have a witness, your own testimony, you just stand there and you're like waiting for Shuichi to just be like, no, Samugi saw something. Yes, he's right. <laughs> I had completely forgotten about it until you just said <laughs> Then why didn't you say so Yes, clear? yes, thank you, Himiko. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I was just mistaken at first. Since there was no way she could have come to the mansion. I feel like that's something we could be saying to all of them, though. Anyone who's gotten some kind of out, some kind of uh, testimony. But I guess I wasn't mistaken after all. That was definitely Mew. Then, how did she get to the mansion from the chapel? It must have been some special method only Mew knew, like with that cell phone. There's no doubt about that. That's why she dropped the bridge. If a murder occurred when it was impossible to cross the river, she wouldn't be implicated. She used a secret method to move from the chapel to the mansion for the murder. 
She dropped the bridge to make a huge scene just to let everyone know it's no longer there. So, what secret method did she use? It won't be that easy to figure out. It's called a secret method for a reason. No, it's, it's pretty easy to figure out, I think. No worries, guys. As long as we leave it to Shuichi, everything will be A-OK. -okay. Yep, we don't have to think or do anything at all. Just leave it to the protagonist and his big ahoge. That will guide us to the truth. What? What are you saying? We can't just rely on Shuichi all the time. Now, Shuichi, come on. <laughs> come on, man, think. This class trial's for all of us. We're here to solve this together. <laughs> you would just slow down Shuichi. Shut up! I have time to deal with Kokichi. Right now, I need to focus on the case. I'm positive that Miyu used some kind of special method to get to the mansion. Okay, I just have to figure out what it was. Well, can we follow Kaido's account? Log in. Well, at, well at it. There it is. Like a hidden bridge, besides that signboard, maybe. Or instead of bridge. You use some kind of vehicle to go over. Vehicle! Maybe she teleported with magic. With magic! Or she used a warp zone. Warp Maybe zone! Maybe there's a place you could cross without a bridge. A hidden route that only me... That's... Uh, uh, where's the... Where's the V-point? Oh, there it is. There we go. I agree. I missed the V-point, though. Jeez, I think came out late. That's it, Kibo. There was a hidden route only Mew could use. Hmm? Was there really? Mew modified the program to add a special wall to the world. The wall stretches along the Y-axis, but we found two such walls in the virtual world. It's unclear whether Mew added the wall by the mansion or the wall near the chapel. I believe what what it really is is that I, I think the the loading screen there the map doesn't look like this. I think it normally actually is switched around. So what really is happening is when you're passing through that loading screen, you're actually being teleported to the left side of the act the actual left side of the map, not the right side. We do know that that wall was set so that only objects could pass through. Don't be naive, Shuichi. Don't be naive, Shuichi. Here comes Kaido. I'm gonna show you my amazing logic! What huh. is it, Kaito? Jeez, can you set up a weird wall like that? That is suspicious, but it's got nothing to do with what we were talking about. Nothing to do with it? What are you talking about, you idiot? <laughs> <laughs> you don't even realize your mistake? Are you losing your edge? Uh, no. Oh well, my sidekick's mistakes are my mistakes. I'll make it right. You're just doing this because you want to finally have a truth blade battle art. Yeah, I do! Come on, mate! Can't waste this animation of me going, Hey, hold on there! <laughs> battle showdown! Blah. Map of the mansion, map of the world. It's gonna be the map of the world. Figure out. It's how Mew got from the chapel to the men. So why waste time talking about the it's pointless? We gotta take a whole new approach here. Oh, here we go. Eat shit! Now wait just a second. Wait it's just not a demon second. Possible at all. But you just said so, didn't you? That wall Mew set up only lets non-human objects go through it. Humans aren't able to pass through. Oh. So Mew obviously wouldn't be able to go through that wall. She's not just an object. After oh, all. there we go. Me use Avatar. So no, that's what it is. One more time. After all, yeah, she is. Kyle, cut through your words. She's nothing but an object, Kaido. God damn it! That's right, I am. The wall wasn't the only thing that you changed. She also changed her avatar settings from human to object. From human to object? Which means the virtual world treated her avatar as an object. She could have passed through a wall that only non-humans could go through. Just a dirty object that anyone could have their have their way with! God damn it! Oh! Call me a cum dumpster again! Is 
that right? Don't get ahead of yourself, Kaito. <laughs> we need to listen to everything Shuichi says. I'm still pumped! <laughs> I'm still got my pumped expression! I already told you. The more you try, the more you cause us trouble. It's so totally lame that your own sidekick is dissing you! Kokichi, enough! I wasn't arguing with him. I was just explaining. I don't care. That doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> it just means even I make mistakes. Don't worry about it, Shuichi. Kokichi and Kaido, to some extent, are both pretty petty in their own way, you know? Kichi just loves rubbing that shit in. He's, he's really jealous of Kaido, though. Okay. He, he wants Shuichi to love him so goddamn much. <laughs> it's pretty funny seeing Kaito try to act all tough like this. Kokichi, please refrain from making such irrelevant and irrational remarks. So, if Mew messed with the program and made a wall only she could go through, then her secret route was through that wall? That's it, right? Like using a glitch in a game to walk outside the map. Hell yeah. I bet Mew had a hidden passage like that in the back of the chapel. But even if she could walk through walls, was there really a hidden passage? Because Mew said... No, you're not trapped here. Beyond that wall is the, the end of the world. Literally. Past the wall, nothing exists. Everything ends there. Says I, Mew, the total not liar. She probably lied. There would be no point in going if there was nothing on the other side. Mew lied. Hmm. I wonder what the truth is. There's no way to find out now. That cum soaked urinal cake was totally lying about <laughs> there being nothing past the wall. Ah, uh, bleh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's more like it! Come on, Kokichi! She lived a life of pride, vulgarity, and secrets. Lying would be a piece of cake for her. Kokichi, you know have to go that far. Stop it! Don't badmouth mommy! <gasps> oh my god, Mataru remembered! I mean, it wasn't right to begin with, but he remembered that part at least. Uh, Mataru! Listen to you talking about mommy like she was a terrible lying whore! Just because she occasionally liked it up the pooper doesn't mean she's a whore! But mommy wasn't lying! There was no hidden route in that virtual world! Wrong, Mataru! Huh? Oh, there wasn't, huh? Hey! You can't tell them such an important hint! Oh, if you say that hint is important, then I guess it must be true. Uh. Oh, shoot! Oh, boogers! Ah, jeez. You're lucky you're cute. Her heart just come down there and fucking smoke her ass! Oh. God, I am so stoned right now! Is Kokichi saying all that stuff about Miyu to get the, the Cubs to reveal something? I guess I should thank him, but I have no idea why he does things sometimes. So now that we know there's no hidden route, why did she manipulate the program? If there's actually nothing past the wall, then that setting was meaningless. Miyu wouldn't have done something meaningless. She would have had a plan. <laughs> you know, I, I kind of feel like Kadaka threw that in there where the Monica spouted that out because he couldn't really figure out a way that they could have figured that out themselves. They're like, first thing I figure out that it's not hidden root. How we do that? And they're like, uh, Cubs yelling at me. <laughs> There we go. Yes. Mew definitely wanted to be able to go through that wall for a reason. We aren't sure why yet. But once we solve the mystery of the virtual world... Mystery of... virtual world? There have been a lot of strange occurrences in the virtual world. If we can determine why, we will also determine what Mew was up to. We'll know why she wanted to pass through the wall. Alright, let's clear up those strange occurrences. Yeah, Gonta will help. Even though Gonta not know what you're talking about. <laughs> Gonta don't know what the shit happening. Speaking of strange occurrences, I'm just plain worried about that one thing. Remember, 
That thing that made us notice all the strange occurrences? That's the lettuce there. Not the loud noise. This is it! Yep, sea sauce! You mean the loud sound that you and I heard in the kitchen? Ah, bro. Take this me, <laughs> Gee, or Keo, jumping on a seesaw again? Oh no, not again! Oh god. You know, after I sort of like had some time to soak in the whole seesaw thing. No, I totally see that how that became a meme. <laughs> it was pretty fucking stupid. Ah! What, what? What was that sound? Sounds like something was struck very hard. It came from outside, but ah, uh, sounds like someone was struck very hard with my playground hmm? equipment. You all heard that sound too? Yes, in the mansion's kitchen. But that sound occurred near the chapel. How did you hear it all the way at the mansion? First off, sound can't go past the map loading point. But it can go past what is the real uh, connection between the two sides, all right? Did that sound really come from the chapel? That sound was something hitting the chapel wall. It was real loud. And we definitely heard it. We heard Kibo's voice as well. We're now let's go check outside and check. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah! <laughs> the Kool Aid guy burst through the wall. Ah, oh, Jesus! We heard the Kool Aid Man too. It's that proves that there is a connection between the two sides. Kool Aid Man's up there with us. Oh yeah! So which is right? Oh yeah! Oh no! Oh yeah! Okay, someone will get, someone get the Kool Aid Man out of here! I'm so tired of his shit. Oh no! He shoots fucking Kool Aid just right out of Monaco. Ah! I want to see the Kool-Aid man joining us in the the circle of people and drawing in the donger up a style. It's like, oh yeah. <laughs> I want to see that shit. It's Kibo's voice, right? I think I heard him outside. He sounds so close. You heard my voice too? What? That is pretty strange. Exactly. That has to be some kind of clue to the mystery of the virtual world. Okay. Well, let's check the answers later, and try to find all the other clues first. There was another mysterious phenomenon in the virtual world, wasn't there? Phenomena. Kokichi talked like he noticed something. Pretending not to know? Ooh? Even Gonta is suspicious of me? I always thought you would be the one to trust me! Gonta hate you now! Sorry, Gonta not mean it like that. Ah, uh, God to the sweet fucking soul. Uh, please let me be wrong. I want to be wrong so bad. I love you, dude. Don't die. There's no need to apologize to him. He's probably just lying again. What was the other strange occurrence? Did you see it, Shuichi? Another mysterious phenomenon. Something that shouldn't be possible, like me in the mansion and that loud noise. I need to remember everything else that happened in there. Mine, mine. All right, here we go. It's time to dig through my brain. Make sure to keep an eye out for any Monokuma dolls. Won't miss out. What the hell is that? Oh, it's the kitchen where <laughs> it's upside down for some reason. Ah, the bridge. There it is. Ah, get out of my way. There we go. I see it. I see it. I don't know why my voice is so much quieter when I complete these sections. Have you noticed that? I go, I see the it! The sign that we were using as a bridge was odd to me. Odd how? We mentioned it before, but Mew dropped the sign in the river. Whoops, my hand slipped! We found it later, but there was something unnatural about it. Finding the sign was definitely weird. The most confused. Fused by how the sun got there. She remember exactly what happened with that sign. All right, here we go. Uh, oh, soggy taxi again. All right. This is another one of those ones that I don't know. Just seems really obvious. The uh, knowing that the world loop. I think anyone that's played a video game will probably have figured that out like pretty quickly. You know. Because looping worlds is a pretty common occurrence, especially like an RPG, you know? Ah, uh, Samugi boobs again! <laughs> Seriously, why is that on all the billboards? 
Yeah, where's what? Where's my fan service, Shuichi? Why aren't you dreaming about me and my beautiful pointy hair? Which point was the signboard swept away? About me and my panta. Uh, Mansion River Chapel. Good. I even what? What question? At, at which point? What? Do you, how would anything else? Those other ones swept it away. The chapel swept it away. What kind of dumbass questions are they? Seriously, I think they sometimes have a hard time. Like they struggle to find like good questions for these. They're like I, I don't know. Where is the end of the river? It doesn't end. Mansion side transition point. Uh, chapel side. Transition point. Oh, I'm dead! Oh, that was the first time I missed. Okay, uh. Oh, 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 chapel side. Yeah. I didn't quite what it, know it, understood what it meant, but. That is the direction of the current. I don't need to know what it looks like when I finally plow through and kill somebody. <laughs> pick me, Shuichi, pick me! No, die, Kameda! Ah, blah. <laughs> you did good, Shuichi. I'm proud of you. Oh, here we go. Oh, down the middle. Oh. Oh. Where was the signboard found after it was swept away? What? This isn't answering answer to the question. It was just, it's just bringing up the same points we already knew. The mansion side. Boom. Oh, we're still going. Okay. We're, at, we're finally doing more than three questions. I was, I was like, what? I didn't solve anything. Oh, holy shit. Oh god, the road's getting narrow. Keep an eye on the boobs. Oh, there we go. Uh, brr, brr, brr. Compared to the river's current, which way did the signboard float? To the right. Left and right and right and left. With the current. Uh, oh, wait, what? Oh, to, compared to the, the river's current. Wait, what? Oh, oh, we're si okay. I think I'm just. That was it. That's the final one. I guess we're saying, how did it get? I don't know. I feel like I feel like I'm like two steps ahead of where the game is at here. But the thing is, it did. We we know it went with the current. It just looped. It appeared as though the sign was carried against the river's current. We all saw Mew drop the sign and watched the river carry it downstream. And the river was wide there. The sign should have traveled downriver toward the chapel, correct? Woo! It should have hit the wall on the far side of the chapel and stopped there. But that's not where we found it. We found it near the mansion, nestled in some rocks. The signboard should have been near the chapel, but we found it on the other side. Yes, come on, figure it out, guys. On the chapel side, she probably grabbed the signboard from the chapel wall to cross the river, then left it on the boulders near the mansion so she could get back. Why would she leave the signboard where it could get swept away and leave her stranded? Also, this has nothing to do with walking through the wall, right? We're getting off topic. We're so close to the truth. We just have to connect the how and what. Of course, I already know what it is, because I'm not an idiot. All the mysterious things that happened have to connect with each other somehow. Connect how? Connect for! Go for it! Can pass connect for! Sounds that shouldn't be heard. A signboard going against the river current. How are they all connected? <laughs> I don't know. But Shuichi should know, right? What? We would be in a lot of trouble if you didn't. The only one who can solve this mystery and save us all is you. Why does he keep laying on so thick? So, how are they connected? Do you know Shuichi? Ah, well, what we know so far is that... The unnatural way the sign was carried is possibly related to the wall. Wait, what's the question? What clues relate to the unnatural way the soundboard was carried on the river? Uh, the wall? This we, is it! Yeah, <laughs> it's like what I just said though, right? 
It might have to do with a wall that only objects can pass through. The sign should have stopped at the wall on the other side of the chapel. But if that wall happened to be the one that you set to allow objects through... I see. It's a wall only non-humans can pass through. That means the signboard can pass through the wall, right? Even if it could pass through the chapel wall, how did it end up by the mansion? The only way it could do that is if the wall was a warp zone. But it's not, right? That's right. That's the real issue here. How could the signboard pass through the wall but end up on this mansion's side? How? I'll explain that. Leave it to me, Shuichi. I, your partner, will give you hints in times of trouble. The answer is it looped, guys. It looped. It looped. It looped. It looped. It looped. It looped. Seriously? How are you guys not figuring this out yet? You're so stupid. What? What do you yes, mean it looped? It's the virtual <laughs> world. We should throw away all of our common sense, okay? Huh? The hell does that even mean? Kaido, 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 if you don't understand, just, just worship to the god of Mizuno's legs behind us. Kokichi might be onto something there. We need to forget about what we know and just think about it. Think! Play a video game or something. How did the signboard pass through the wall downstream and end up upstream? Putting common sense aside and focusing on the flow of the river. How did the signboard pass through the wall downstream and end up upstream? Is there a sign? The signboard teleported. Downstream, upstream, connect! That's it! That's it! Oh, God, finally. What if both ends of the river were connected? Huh? Both ends of river connected? Exactly. To put it another way, the river isn't cut off at the wall near the chapel. It's all part of one big loop. The upstream part of the river is connected to it. Oh, finally. Fuck. I feel like it took fucking forever to get to that point. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Both ends of the river can't... Yes, it's a video game! God, Kaido! Come Again, on! Throw out all common sense from your head. We're talking about the virtual world. We're talking about the Matrix, the Kaido. The wall. There was only one wall that could be passed through. Right. Even if the river's connected, and it goes through the chapel wall, it wouldn't have been able to go through the mansion wall, too. Wait, in that case... I got it! I know why Mew only set up one wall. What are you talking about now? The reason she only set up one wall is because the chapel and the mansion walls. One wall is already in place. They're the same wall. They're exact duplicates. They're the same wall, baby! That's it! The walls by the chapel and the mansion aren't separate. They're the same wall. The same wall? It's not just the river. The walls themselves are connected. They Don't are think one. think of it as two separate walls, but a single wall parallel to the y-axis. That single wall divides the entire virtual world. Let's see this thing again. The idea is, you pass through the wall by the chapel and come out by the mansion. I'm waiting for them to, they, come on, there's gotta be some point right where they take the two maps and swat, and switch them. <laughs> Everything is starting to connect. It's all coming together. See, didn't I tell you? Everything is connected. Damn it, Kokichi. Just tell us. Shh. It's okay. <laughs> More importantly, this is the final stretch. Shh, 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 shh. If both the river and wall are connected, then you can find the secret. Shuichi, you already know the secret behind the virtual world, right? Secret, huh? Yeah, I suppose we should clear that up. We solve the mystery of the virtual world. I feel like Hangman's Gambit. Yep, fucking knew it. 
world loop or something? I don't see a W anywhere. Uh, R, no. Oh, looping, no. No? Oh, there, there's the W! And I miss you! World loop. Do, 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 do. There we go. Again, we kind of said it already by that point. Yes, that's it. The virtual world is a loop. Yeah, we did it. Ah, oh, I only took 33 years. Loop. Just like in old games, right? Like, for example. Oh, good. Samugi, our resident dork, knows what we're talking about. When a character goes off the left side of the screen and reappears on the right. Yes, exactly. The edges of the virtual world are linked together in a continuous loop. The virtual world loops? What in the world? What in the virtual world? If that's true, it would explain the way the signboard was swept away. It vanished into the wall downstream of the river, came out of that same wall upstream. And floated Boom. in the current until it got caught on the rocks. What was the world like before Mew added the wall? Actually, there wasn't a wall on the y-axis at all, and the x-axis was set to loop. Are you serious? Even if it is a computer program, isn't that too crazy? Not really. A looping world. That's more extraordinary than even magic. That's the most magical thing of magic-y magic I've ever magicked in my magic magic. But at least it's not a boring answer. It also explains all the things that happened. What do I determine? Like, what do I like decide is boring and what's not? Seriously, I I, I don't know. I feel like I I feel like I, I don't have very strict standards. Huh? It doesn't explain everything, does it? Because we still don't know why we heard that one sound or Kibo's voice. Yeah, it does! <laughs> yeah, sound doesn't go past the map loading point. But that's not the map loading point. Actually, if we know that the world is a loop, we can explain that as well. Huh? Really? Oh? Uh -huh. Yes. But first we need to be clear where the loop starts. Where the loop starts? Doesn't it loop at the walls next to the mansion and chapel? Not necessarily. If we heard a noise at the chapel from inside the mansion, then the loop... There! Boom! There! That's the loop, fools. The map loading point was where the virtual world looped. We thought the loading point was in the middle of the map. There we go! But the loading point was actually at the edges. Oh, thank you. Thank you, God. I was warning if we were actually going to do that. <laughs> I was like, please, God, please. That shit matched up perfectly, all right? We got to at least, we got to Photoshop that shit together at some point. So the wall Mew created wasn't at the edges of the world, but rather, her wall was at the center of the world. The center of the earth. I see. So the mansion and chapel were near each other, with a wall between them. And any sound emitted near the chapel would also reach the mansion. The wall only allows non-humans to pass through, so sound should be able to pass through easily. Right. That's right. That's how the virtual world works. Gotcha. <laughs> Whoa. Impressive, Shuichi. <laughs> Uh, I gotta say, I can tell. I can tell the the person voice acting Kokichi, uh, who I also recognize as yes, Kuzuru's voice actor, and also Shida from Bleach. Uh, he's really having a good time with Kokichi, which I can't. How can you blame him? Seriously, I, I Kokichi was def would definitely be a fun role. For you to get this far, 
Yes! 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 You are useful indeed! For you to get this far, what are you? Some villain pulling the strings? He seems to find people, like, useful, right? Like, for a while he thought Gonta was useful. But now he's pulling for Shuiji, now that he realizes his potential. But what, to use in some way, I guess? To be used as a tool for him? Nope. Mew pulled the strings here, not me. Remember? Mew also set this trap. It all began when Mew showed us the map. Because of the map, we mistakenly thought the loading point was at the center. Which, in turn, made the mansion and chapel seem farther away from each other. But the structure of the world wasn't actually like that. Let's do it again. Oh, yeah. That's there was stuff. a wall along the Y axis, and the X axis came around in a loop. By putting that wall in the center of that world, she cut off the loop. So ever since Mew showed us that map, we were caught in her trap. Map trap. But we solved this mystery thanks to Shuichi. All hail our savior! I mean, to be fair, I knew what it was, and I, I was going to say it if he got it wrong, but, you know, anyway. Yay! Shuichi, yay! <laughs> yeah. If Shuichi wasn't here, then we never would have solved this mystery. That's right. Good work, Shuichi. I feel like there's got to be a purpose to this, right? Why are they laying on so thick this chapter? They're just like, they expect so much from me. Is it going to get shattered? Are they, they building it up to, to like, in the end I'm going to fuck up? Or, or what? What, what? What's going on? Thanks, Shuichi. You saved us. You the best! Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Aw. Everybody loves Shuichi. Kaido's like, God damn it! Just because we found out the virtual world secret doesn't mean we can take it easy yet. Is Kaido kind of, is he jealous? Is he, it's like, cause he, cause he, he was calling him his sidekick, right? But is he actually jealous of him? Actually, this culprit hunt just got to the exciting part. Even if we know all the tricks, it's pretty meaningless if we don't find the culprit. That's how a class trial works after all. Yeah, I know. <laughs> She's talking like Monokuma again. No matter what you say, I'm not going to believe your lies. I'm going to believe in everyone. That's how I'm going to reach the truth. <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens next. Next time. What's Kokichi's plan here? He's definitely prodding at Kaido on purpose. There's no time for distra distractions like him. What we have to do is find the culprit who killed Miyu. No matter how many little mysteries we solve, we can't find the culprit. It would all be for nothing. But I still don't know for sure who it could be. Who used Miu's own plan against her to kill her? Who killed Miu? Class trial intermission! Hmm. I don't know. Maybe the dudes be soon be setting up possibility that it will end up being Kaido, and then maybe that's the point is that Shuichi will find out and he won't want to say anything again like Kaide. I don't know though. It's uh, this is this is a tough one. I think it's between Gonta and Kaido. I don't know. Even for Gonta though, I, I don't really am not entirely certain how he could have done it or what he did. But if it were also for Kaido, I, I have no idea then because he wasn't in the game. I, I think it's gonna it's gonna have something to do with the the log an error at the beginning right it's that's gonna have to do with something and i don't but i i don't quite understand what it is but uh ooh, this got me hooked i mean there, i feel like there are moments just like moments of kind of like dumb stuff or maybe partially contrived stuff in in this one but i feel like all the dongarupa games kind of have that to some extent overall though I, I actually think i'm enjoying this game more than i have the, the previous games i think this might be my favorite so far in the series i, I mean as long as it, it keeps this up and it doesn't get like totally stupid at the end um i just really like the characters and uh i am enjoying uh, a lot of these uh, class trials as well and i hope you guys are as well if you are please leave a like and a favorite it really does help me out and subscribe for an already become Picky Penguin for this LP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy!